Hey guys, Lumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. <laughs> I'm really loving this series, I'm glad it's back. In the previous episode, we created this new passenger line, which our folks are really enjoying. If you look at this station, we have 132 people now waiting for this train, and it can only carry 22. So that's something that we'll definitely need to work on now optimizing the line and uh, I got a notification last time and I was asking about it now I'm still pre-recording this video so I have not been able to read your comments yet but these guys are quite old already if you look at this 26 years and I'm getting notices from the the game that says the, the maintenance is very poor for some vehicles but apparently I mean yeah they're very poor but they're not re really beyond the lifetime because if you look at this guy this can actually last until 40 years for zero years so it might not be in good condition but it's still working and I think it's auto replacing the vehicles now with transport fever 2 but we will see but at this point they're still 26 years old still far away from 40 which is when they will auto replace i think that's how it goes at least so we'll just leave them be we can increase the the maintenance the uh, upgrade so if i show you that one if i how do we select that i think from this point if we select that guy here no it's managed line i think no, no, that, that was right. Manage vehicles. And then this one. Configure maintenance. Can increase the maintenance. Running costs will be higher. But that will make them actually work better. Because this guy, like for example, if condition is very bad, vehicle condition is 9%. <laughs> Top speed is 18 kilometers per hour still doing pretty well though so i don't think there's much to uh i think the horses are getting fed all in all so i don't think there's any cause for concern what is the top speed ideally 20 and it's down to 18 yeah that's not bad i mean it's still working don't need to uh overthink it what we need to overthink though is the optimization of this line as you can see now there are 111 people here who are waiting and I wanted to take you here, take you for this momentous occasion, although it's going to be very short-lived. Because we started off at 5 million loans in the beginning of this. Now we only have 500,000 left, so if we pay that off, I'll take you for this one. We are officially debt-free, guys. We should, uh, that, that, that should actually get an achievement right there. Debt-free goodness. Although, yeah, we'll be loaning again because it's, uh, it's a necessity. For businesses to loan as long as it's something that will turn into a profit at some point I think we're good but what I want to do is to most probably just increase this by one more train I think and we should be good we have 45 if I can afford it I'll take two trains actually two of these trains and then I can make them longer because at this point if we look at that uh, Tianjin to Suzhou train what is the stats there this one four minute frequency that's quite long actually the train can only take around 67 people annually and we have like a hundred plus only on this station so that means it will take us around two years to transport everybody <laughs> That's not very ideal. So yeah, let's uh, let's go and loan. Okay, how, how do you do that? So if I take this guy, get the details. What's that? Com accumulate a fortune of one million without debt. Oh, there we go. That is the achievement I was waiting for. Good, good. All right, perfect. Good thing we haven't loaned yet. So if I go to, there should be like a value somewhere, I think details yeah value so the value is 1.455 million 
So that should be around the cost of one train. So that means we need to, there you go, very short lived, borrow and borrow one more so that we can at least copy this train. Right? But I think I'll do that later. I'll do that later when this guy has left. Because I'm trying to space them out. And right now, this train is here. When we buy a train, it will always go to this depot because that's the only thing connected to this depot. It will always go to this platform. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that they are spaced out properly. So one of the passenger trains is here. Uh, what is that? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, and this is the other passenger train. So what I'm going to do is I'll wait for this train at least, train 7, to reach that uh, platform in Tianjin before I buy another train. Yeah, just so I'll space them out better. We'll see how that works. Yeah, that should be proper spacing right there because I'm not sure if they space themselves out evenly. Alright, now this is something of a problem we have as well. These guys are actually getting limited because of these other trains. We saw that already last episode. Like this guy, this passenger train is catching up to the cargo train. And so it needs to slow down every now and then. So effectively, it's only traveling at 50 kilometers per hour because of the train in front, which is traveling at that speed. Okay, it's there. Good. So now we should be able to copy that guy. Do we need a loan? Okay, we need to borrow just one. And that guy, copy. There we go. So now, it will come from the depot and it will uh, automatically go to this station right here. Right? It's looking good. So we should have three stations. Now, why is this guy stopping? Oh, that's bad. I actually have bad signaling right here. This train is waiting all the way here when it could actually wait just right before the merge here. I forgot to put in a signal back on this point. There you go. That's the thing that's missing. Good. <clears throat> is that good? Yeah, that's good. Alright. So one thing that we also need to upgrade. Look at the <laughs> number of folks waiting here. 53. Not only that, but this one as well. So we can either increase the number of um, horses we have. But that's actually a very poor idea. Because right now, if you look at the vehicles we have for passengers, we only have one, the Troika. It can only handle three people. If you compare that with the tram that we have, I think it can take seven people. So that's more than double. This one. This guy, yeah, 7 people and 20 kilometers per hour. I guess the top speed isn't that important in this case. But yeah, the capacity definitely is. So I think what we'll do is we'll convert these guys, these roads, into a tram, into tram lines. Just so we can really plop down some trams in here. So let's go and upgrade tram track tool indeed. And we can say, uh, upgrade that one and everything else in the bus lines path. Okay, that should be pretty cheap. Yeah, good thing it's easy to do that. And then where do we, where do, where do they circle? I think they circle through here now. There you go. So now that should be compatible with the tram line as well. What we just need is a depot, a tram depot, which I'm guessing I can put that somewhere in the middle, maybe somewhere here, just so it will be easier to go to whichever track would be ideal. What I'm wondering about as well, it seems weird, but so this station we can see has an, has an icon which shows that it can either be a bus or a tram, right? That's what I'm expecting, but these guys... Okay, they, they've updated as well. 
a while ago they were only showing bus. I guess it just takes a while to update. Either that or I'm just getting a, a wrong illusion. No, no, that's fine. Okay, tram depot and put that. What's the cheapest? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. I can take that. So let's go and put something like this. Yes, perfect. So now what we'll do is this line here, this red line. Um, is that that one? No, it's not that one. Show only the visible lines. Farm food. No, that's the train feeder. This one, yes. So that's still okay, but we need to replace the vehicles in there. So the train feeder, actually... Hmm, how do we do this? I think what we can do is we can do it in parallel. So if we buy, I don't know, uh, how many do we have right now? 14 vehicles. So if we buy 15 vehicles, we effectively double our throughput. So let's buy 10 for now and let's adjust. Let's buy 10 trams. These bigger ones. 10. We do have enough money for that. That's good. Ouch. And assign them all there. And then from here, we can then remove all these guys which are not really very productive. There you go, sell them off. There you go. So all that's left are the trams. And that should actually lead to better... <laughs> I feel bad for these guys. They can't even fit in the bus stop anymore. That's fine, that's fine. I'll make you guys work. Okay, and it's getting balanced already. Some of them are turning left. Some of them are turning right. That's perfect. And so they'll take the people in here. Okay, good. So how are we doing here now? How are we doing on these lines? We have... Let's see. These guys over here. Let's pay off our loans. No more loans again. Perfect. We still have 129 people. Has it not improved at all? Goodness, really? This guy's full, right? So if we look at our vehicles, if we look at the Tianjin Suzhou train, I always get confused if it's the vehicle manager or the line manager or the stats. It's the stats, okay. So we, they can... Uh, what is this? 60 out of 66 loaded in all our trains. It's almost full. Rate us now 106. Previously it was uh, 60, I think. So if we can handle one more train, that will improve stuff even better. But I have to really mind the speed at which they are traveling. It's like this one. We have an instance again where these guys are really slowing us down. So I think what I'll do is I will upgrade these guys. No depot found. Oh crap. Uh, replace selected vehicles. Oh, that's bad. I'll think about it later. So these are currently Russian class D type 1. These guys here, which can go up to... Wait a minute, they can go up to 55. Really? Yeah, which should be the same as this one. Which is what these guys are, right? GV. Yeah. So if I look at you guys... Why do you only travel at 50 kilometers per hour? Is it because the condition is mediocre? Let's see, the top speed is now 50. Yeah, exactly. So I can maybe just simply increase the maintenance to very high and that will make them faster. If I change it to high only, Let's see how that will look like. Still mediocre. Vehicle condition is 59%. Top speed is still 50 kilometers per hour. We need it in tip-top condition, actually. 
maintenance set to keep vehicle at mediocre condition. Okay, so we need it higher. We need to put the maintenance at its very maximum, right? So with that, is that automatic? Maintenance is very high. Set to keep vehicle at very good condition. So I'm guessing... Yeah, look at the value of this guy. 39% of 1.7 million. It's very worn out. Condition is good now. How's that upgrading? And the top speed is now still 50. Ah, I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. This might be a limitation on the car. Let me have a look at what our car is. Um, maybe it's not the local which has a problem. So if we look at replacing these guys, huh, that's even worse because we don't have other tank cars. Yeah, if you look at the top speed, they can only go up to 50 kilometers per hour, really, this tank car. And we don't have anything faster. So actually, this Class D Type 1 is bottlenecked. So what we just need actually is this guy. Yeah, instead of getting a Class D Type 1, we are wasting 5 kilometers per hour there. Maintenance, let's keep that normal. We don't need to maintain them properly after all. Yeah, we're wasting the 5 kilometers per hour. Attractive effort is 30 kilonewtons. If we look at Class B, this is perfect for cargo, I'm guessing. Because this has the same speed limit as the cars that it's carrying, 50 kilometers per hour. So it should only be this one. Only thing is, this is more expensive. So I guess, hmm, let me see. Are we leaving fuel on the table? How are we, how much are we transmitting? We are transporting all the fuel. So we don't have anything that we are lacking for these trains. So what we can maybe do is maybe remove one of these trains because right now I think we have three of them yeah we have three of them what I can do is I can sell one of them off and replace the other two with this class B that will effectively double the attractive effort they have so that should theoretically mean they can carry twice the amount maybe I don't know not really sure but what I'll do then is I'll make them carry each nine cars instead of six yes does that sound good let's try it guys let's try it so i'll sell this off uh one sec let's see what they are doing okay this one is not carrying anything let's sell him off and then these two guys let's replace make that the class b and add how many nine tank cars one two three four five six seven eight nine and we need four million for that oh my goodness one two three four five six is that okay all right that's good all right replace Kaching. where is it where are our trains there he is what a beauty. So these can actually travel until 50 kilometers per hour as well. That's good. And they can carry more. And they don't have any bottleneck anymore. That's great. That is actually pretty great. Alright, so that's the good decision there. We'll have to see if we can optimize the numbers later. Maybe we can actually... Uh, Go back to a single train. Let, let me see how the power is. Um, power. Power is mediocre already. Flat, medium. Yeah, that's fine. This is a flat uh, surface they are traveling in. So 50 kilometers per hour, that's the speed limit. So they can still reach their maximum speeds. So that's perfect. Okay, that's good. Let's keep it that way and then we'll monitor how the numbers are looking like. But that's good. We have less trains on the, the tracks. That means there is less likely chance of bottlenecks. 
Um, although, to be honest, I'm actually thinking if we should make a separate track for the cargo. So maybe let's have three tracks instead of two. So that our passenger lines can really speed up. Because we have trains now which can go up to 65 kilometers per hour. 64 rather. And we can use that. Let me see how our wagons are looking like. Passenger wagons can... Oh, uh, passenger wagons can only go up to 60. Okay. But... So uh, the, the 4 kilometers per hour is a bit wasted in that sense. But uh, yeah, it's a good start. It's a good start. So right now, look at this guy. Yeah. So he's waiting for free path. You can see that icon waiting for free, free path appearing every now and then. Because he's waiting for this guy right here. So what I think I'll do is I'll add another track here. Anyway, these two trains will uh, most likely not run into each other anytime soon. There are only two. So I think it's better if we create a separate track for them and just make passing loops, passing lanes or whatever. Yeah, I think that uh, can make sense. I think that can make sense. So if we add a track right here... Oh man, can I still fit in there? I will see. We'll see if I can still fit another track. And then going through here. We'll have to cross through there. Yeah, that's fine. We can do it. We can do it. Alright, before we get into that point, let's, let me have a look here. What? Why oh, still this not... Okay, I don't think we still have enough. I think we need more. Let's add five more trams in here. Five, please. And assign them all to the train feeder. Okay. No traffic. Yeah, it's just really the number of vehicles are still quite few. So we can still leverage on that. Because the more people we can transport here, the more people we'll have on the trains. And the more full our trains will be. So they, it's all a cascading effect. Good. Alright, so let's make a new track for these guys. Um, let's start off somewhere here maybe. So we don't destroy any of the existing lines. Let's just trace through here. Oh man, it's going to be expensive. 59k. I'm crying already. No, but it's going to be worth it. Our passenger trains will love it. Then we'll think of the passing lanes later. Or passing loops. I, I always miss what they call them. And we have enough money. It's only sensical that we put cargo and passenger lines on different ones. So we don't have to worry about them conflicting with each other all right good so what we can do now is actually this is when we'll need to pause the game because we are going to be destroy the path so if we destroy that one and we remove oh crap that one and that one there you go i actually destroyed one part that i liked as well which is the, the guy connecting to this point. That's fine. We'll uh, bring it back. There we go. Okay, that should be good. And then here, we connect the new track to the cargo. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I won't leave you alone. We'll need to connect now this guy back to here which is a bit tricky but I think we can do it we'll have to somehow hmm okay let me let me delete this guy and then we'll need to then connect somehow here there that's perfect yes 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 let's do that and then our signal will then be somewhere here and here yes 
Looks good. So this guy, the, the cargo train, will actually have to cross this point. But that's okay. Yeah, see the brown line? The brown line is now using the new track. Oh, that's beautiful. They are not sharing. That's perfect. And all end to end, they are completely separate except on the actual station. Good. So now what we just need to do is make some passing loops. I'm sorry, I'm just going to call it passing loops, okay? Because that's what I got used to. Alright, so... Uh, I'll just make a few of these, probably. Um, let's make something like so. Now, uh, th it has to be a pretty fast one. I think. So I'll try to minimize the the speed by increasing the distance covered by these loops sidings that one and then we merge so let's increase that one that's perfect yes so let's put in some signals here Signal there, signal in between, signal here too, right before the merge, a bit like that, yes, yes, perfect, okay, so we have one, uh, let's create some more, I guess we can put some more here, one here, and then one there. One in the beginning of that station, one in the middle, and one at the end. So let's put one here, probably. Let's see if we can make that work. <clears throat> can we do it on this point? Because this looks like the middle. We created one there, we create one in the middle, and we create one on that side. So we create one here. Yes, let's try it. Oh, that's quite hard actually. But we can make that work. And then over here, we merge. We can make that faster. Doesn't have to be super fast. It'll be some time before we reach those limits. 69. Hmm, not ideal, but I think that can work for now. Yeah, 88, 71. Yes, I can live with that. Alright, so let's uh, get that signal in before the merge. In here, we can also put the same signals. Okay, and over here we need one right before they join together again, like so. Okay, so that's one more done. Now we need one more over on this point, and I guess we can do that right before this one, on this stretch. So let's do just that. Um, I'll have to delete this one though. Hmm, no, I think I'll keep that. Can probably start with it somewhere here yes yes let's do that so let's go and split from here on 20 let's maximize it as much as possible that one stretch a little and then join back in Is that one? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Alright. And then we can put a... Put some signals in here. We can put that there. That's fine. So it's aligned. Um, we can put one then... Where is it? It's actually a very short one. Not sure if that's enough space actually. But we can try. That might just work. 
can extend it a bit. Let's extend it a bit. Yeah, let's extend it a bit. So if we do that, and then combine through here. Does that work? Come on, 120, just one more. There we go, perfect. All right. And then we have a signal right here. Yes. Actually, if we have a signal here, then we should not have a signal on this point. Because by this point, they've already merged. Yes, so the signal will be a bit back there. That's okay, I guess. It's not ideal, but they can live with it. All right. So, lines. Yes, they're using both lines now. You can see the brown line. They're using the passing loops. Yes. And then they merge. Yeah, we could actually just double track everything and be done with it, but this is more realistic, yeah? So we don't waste too much in terms of maintenance. We just waste a bit of time. <laughs> nah, it's not a waste. It's going to be useful. Alright, so now there is no risk of uh, these guys getting slowed down. So we can actually upgrade them to 60 kilometers per hour, but I don't think that's necessary at that this moment. I think what we need more are actual trains. So this guy, it's getting a bit complex. This freight train is actually going to cross and go through that area right here. So it's going to be crossing, beautiful. Staying on the middle, second lane from the left. Actually, on the leftmost, my bad. Leftmost, and then... There you go. There he is. Staying on the second lane here. Good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that works. That works great. Alright. Stop. How are we in terms of the passengers? Passenger-wise, we still have a lot here. 101. Goodness. Okay, yes, we'll need more. Um, let's get more trains. So we have a couple of trains here. All right, I think we can do with one train again. One more train on this end. So let's uh, duplicate one of you guys. Now I think we need 1.4M if I remember correctly. There you go. And clone. Perfect. So we now have four trains on this line. Good. That is awesome. Okay. So if you look at the frequency, that should be better now. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, rate is 141. Frequency is 114 seconds. So we have something like every two minutes. That's great. In terms of the money, um, train, yeah, they are earning definitely 265. So that's good. And the other train which we upgraded, the Russian Class V, they're actually earning 566k. Goodness. That's where the money is at. <laughs> Amazing. Cool stuff, guys. How's it working on here? Still have a lot of people to transport. Oh my goodness, really? Do we need like a straight line just delivering from there to there, an express lane? Does that work? Because the other people don't have any pe passengers anymore. So I think what I'll do... Let's have a look at the stats here. They are still earning, but look at that. The cargo, 54 out of 105. I think what I'll do... Just experiment. I'll create a line. Just, just, just goes from here. Third street to here. Yeah, and just loops around. That express line, yeah. Let's say the Suzhou Crane Feeder Express. Yes, and then what we'll do is we, in terms of vehicles, here, let's transfer some of these guys, like, I don't know, five of them. 
we have 15 at the moment. Let's split that. 7. Transfer you to the other line, the express lane. Yes, that should make things a lot quicker, I think. And then the other line, actually, the train feeder line, we should actually end that on here. Uh, if we remove the first stop here, there you go. So they will have to transfer. Huh, but that's a bit strange, isn't it? They'll have to transfer just so they can go to the train. Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky. But I guess that's okay. So now... Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. It's a bit strange, isn't it? They're on that other side of the station. The Feeder Express is on that side. Why? Ah, because the stop I chose. This one in 3rd Street. Actually, I want you to be on that side. There you go. <laughs> That's more like it. Yes, thank you. Because they are going to the train station, I think. So it's hey. better if they wait there. Okay. I think that's working a lot better. <laughs> huh. I'm still having a bit of doubt here though. I think I want to keep the, the main line also going here. The other line is just an additional thing. But I'm not sure if the game will be smart enough to do that. Third Street. Something like that. Let's see how the game will react. So we have both lines. Both lines are going here from Suzhou Sidings to 3rd Street. But the train feeder express is only limited to that point. So it's actually faster. So if you look at the stats of this line. One is actually 31 seconds, one is 55 seconds, and it can uh, take more people in there. So if we look at the stats, how is this looking like? So everything is on the Feeder Express. Moving forward, we'll see if that will change. Okay. Let's see. And then I'll also change the color here. Make you... What, it, what color is that? That guy? Yep. Okay, good. So that just so we can differentiate which is which. This one, both stations being used. Yes, both stations being used. Good. Alright. That's looking pretty good, guys. Let's go and pay off some loans here. We're back with 4 million loans. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be playing with that range. How are we? Okay, we have less people here now. 77. Awesome. Well, I'll call that progress. Yes, that sounds good to me. More trains, same amount of money. I'll take it. And now these guys are unimpeded by cargo stations. Awesome stuff. All right, we'll leave it there for now, guys. We'll continue next episode. Hopefully you are enjoying this series. And if you are, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button, comment, share and yeah so i can know let me know that you are liking the series so that i know that i can make more otherwise it would be very hard to continue so feedback is very important and if you find something that you need to adjust you need to adjust let me know as well okay thanks for watching guys have a nice day catch you in the next episode clumsy transport Bye bye <laughs>